Hello guys, Charles here and welcome back to my channel. So this week I've been working on my score reading a bit and in particular I've been looking at some Messian pieces and everything by Messian of course is unbelievable but there was just some really cool movements in one piece in particular that I thought I should share on this channel so hopefully you guys can find these useful. I think they just sound absolutely unbelievable. So both of these come from Messian's Theme and Variations which was written in 1932 and I believe he wrote this for his first wife who uh, had lost her memory, I think. So it's quite a, an emotional piece for violin and piano. And some of the harmony in this, uh, well, all of the harmony in this is just unbelievable. It's, it's really next level stuff. If you haven't ever checked out Messian, then this is a great place to start. It's quite accessible. So I will leave a link to a really great video that I've been using for my score reading. It's got a really beautiful score and you can check that out for yourself. So this first movement is by bar 15, we're already into some really great stuff. So this one's based on the diminished scale, which is one of Messian's modes of limited transposition. If you don't know much about the diminished scale, I've done a whole video and a lick on the diminished scale, which you can check out up here. For a brief recap, the diminished scale is whole half, whole half, whole half, or tone, semitone, tone, semitone, tone, semitone, so on and so forth. So the diminished scale sounds like this. And in its dominant interpretation, it sounds like this. So as you can see, it's a really simple scale, just holes and halves. However, some of the harmony that lives in there, I mean, you can make the scale sound any way you want really, as Messian consistently proves. So without further ado, let's see what he did. That's it, only three chords. However, what's so great about this is it's using our symmetrical scale, therefore we can use this as a chord scale throughout the entire diminished scale. Let me show you. Gets a bit cramped at the top there. I'm still trying to figure out the best way to finger this pattern, but let me show you these shapes. So this first one is, you can think of this as an A note on the top and an E flat major triad underneath. So if you like, you can think of that like a Lydian chord. So straight away, Lydian chord, we generally associate that with brightness. It's the brightest mode available to us of the major scale. So we think of it as very uplifting and positive. Not something you tend to associate with the diminished scale, but it's in there, these sounds are in there. And here's the next chord. So this one you can think of as an A minor triad. Down here, C, E, A, with a flat two, B flat on the top there. So I suppose a Phrygian type chord. So we go from the brightest mode to the second darkest. The brightest here Lydian, to the second darkest Phrygian. Really, really cool. And you can move that around the neck as a chord scale. So this, in this particular position I'm in, I would be doing this as like a dominant diminished. This is like an, an A altered. Same chord one again. Chord one again. So on and so forth. Like I say, it starts to get a bit cramped up there. So if I play that with an A in the bass, you'll maybe hear the harmony a bit. Now in terms of application, it's quite challenging to take these Messian ideas and put them into a more traditional tonal system that we use in jazz standards, for example. Messian doesn't compose 
thinking in terms of chords and melody in the way that we often think about it as jazz players. He thinks more similarly to the way that Holdsworth described his thought process, where it's every note of a scale is equal in weight and part of the same family. And you can think of these as, as tonal colours or, or tonal palettes rather than a specific scale with a set root. It's just this wash of sound. So you can think of all of these notes happening at the same time. So these ideas are probably best used in your original compositions where you don't have these same uh, rules and structures or in smaller ensembles where maybe like a trio as a guitarist where you've just got the root and you're a bit more free harmonically. You're not gonna clash with what the piano player is playing if they're using more traditional harmony. So you've got to use these things carefully, but as you tune your ear into these sounds, you'll start to hear different applications and you can maybe start to be a bit more experimental and a bit more out there, uh, but feeling like you've still got control of things. So it's just about getting these sounds in your ear, which is something I'm still working on as well. Now this next idea is from Messian's third mode. Again, I've done a video on that up here, which for some strange reason is one of the most popular videos on my channel. So there must be something good in there, who knows? Go and check that one out. Messian's mode three is whole half, half, whole half, half, whole half, half. So rather than whole half, whole half of the diminished scale, we get two halves in a row. Again, this is how this would sound on a single string. And when I'm playing this, I don't even think of the structure of it. I just see these groups of three notes. And that seems to work for me. This one has several modes as well, and it's got several ways that we can apply it, depending on the context. But the way we're using it today, we're just outlining the basic triads that live within that scale. So there's loads and loads of basic chords that live within what seems quite an unusual and complicated scale. So here's this pattern. So like I say, this one is Messian mode three. So what we've got here is we start on an E major triad, going to an E flat major triad, going to a C major triad, we can either go down here or down here smoothness down here is easier. This one, I'll need to work on that. Down to a B major. Down to an F minor in its first inversion. To E minor. To A flat major. So we get this really cool melody on the top. Which is just the jazziest thing ever. Great, absolutely fantastic. Now something I kept on doing when I was practicing this by accident is catching this open E string, but actually it sounds really good because the open E string is part of the scale. And remember, we're just trying to create this like wash of tonality here. This is sort of the way that, that Messian thinks about this stuff. So I'm gonna play that same idea, but this time I'm just gonna keep the open E string droning on the top, and it really sounds good to my ear anyway. So again, with the application of this one, these modes do work best in our traditional system on altered chords. So you can try this out over an altered chord. You might wanna try picking these as arpeggios and experimenting with that sort of sound as a lead line, which I'm sure would sound absolutely killer. So try these out, see where you can fit them. But as I mentioned earlier, it's best to use these in stripped back settings or if you are in a bigger ensemble, then arrange in advance that you're gonna use this sort of harmony with the piano player, and they can then start to experiment with these sounds themselves. So I hope you found those enjoyable. These are beautiful little phrases from Messian. If you did, please do give this video a like, subscribe, ding that notification bell, and share with any of your friends who you think might enjoy these colors. And as always, I hope you're doing very well, getting plenty of practice in, and I very much look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers. Forget a eh? jet jet for drowning in debt. Now you can't buy your way out. And I heard you find it difficult to cope. Well, here by this ball.
Full 